Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Um, we're doing another little trout video. Um, rivers are low. Um, it's a bit of a bright sunny day and this, this river's crystal clear. I'm gonna, gonna target upstream, wading my way upstream. Um, and I'm looking, hopefully gonna find some uh, deep pools. I've looked on Google Maps and you can see areas look a bit slower. So hopefully these couple of areas will hold some fish. But the river's low, that's uh, where the fish are gonna be basically. Um, just have a bit of fast water, but obviously in the deeper water as well, so that's what I'm going to target, so let's go. Managed to um, get me some Polaroids. I'll reach sunglasses, so that's not helping. Got a nice bit of deep water here, so shark has to start with. Seems to be fish close by. Knee deep, that's quite good. Deepish water. You would imagine any fish have pushed up a little bit towards the fast water, but still worth taking your time. There's no fish so far. Nice pool, quite deep. Really nice. Oh, nice swim. Really undercut on that side. It's, it's now it's now up to todger length depth, which is pretty good. Oh, shit, sure you guessed it. Maybe they pushed a bit further up. Looks like a footprint. Yeah, I'm not exactly a tracker, so I don't know how, long, how old it is, but hopefully it won't this morning. Because I'm quite late. Quite late fishing, to be honest. These kind of spots. You might only hold a few fish, and if you're not here the first guy, you might miss out. Yeah, footprints. Those footprints are not my footprints. Somebody's been here, that's my fishing ruined. Especially if that was the early bird and that. Oh, little baby trout. Little baby. <laughs> Well, not blanked. Lovely. Lovely little brownie. Get on, kid. Cheers, mate. This looks nice. That's very really nice. So just for for reference, I'm actually using a it's a Rapala Shadow Wrap, and it's a um, it's a sinking lure. But the, what the class this is like a long cast from the long cast series, and then um, it's only you know six gram or something like that, seven gram I can't remember. But they're just designed to cast better. So which with a nice nice braid. It allows you to do a, a nice, steady, easy cast without overexerting yourself and 
and allowing you to get there better better accuracy. Um, you know, some of the lows which are you know light are difficult to cast. But this allows you to cast like that at a distance. I mean you can cast that far with other lows. But what it allows you to do is just do that longer cast and stay away from any fish so you don't spook them. And there you go. Nice fish. I have a pile of long cast. Shadow wraps. Oh, I'll keep them, let it go. Lovely fish. Happy with that. Cheers, kid. What you can also do to help your casting is, you know, don't have, you're going to be fishing typical trout water, you don't need a wire trace, you've got fluorocarbon length. Tied on with as small a knot as you can, so practice your knots, and I'm not going to claim to be an expert on, on tying knots from braid to fluoro. I've got my own little knot that I do, and it works. You know, but if you can get that as small as possible, what happens then is it runs through your, your rings of your rod, which means you can wind it really far up, so when you're casting under trees and things, you can even get it right to the tip. And, uh, and the small knot doesn't get caught up in your rings and it allows for better casting accuracy. Oops. There's a set of roots there. You can see that big tree. A set of roots and because I haven't got my glasses, I haven't got my polarised, I don't want to get too close because I don't want to basically snag up and then ruin my swim because I've got to go wading for it. So I'm trying to stay clear. So like I say, a shadow wrap, it's a little jerk bait and just twitch it, twitch bait, jerk bait, I call jerk bait but just twitch it through. Ah, snag. I don't know how many fish live in this pool. I don't know how, how long ago that guy came fishing here. So I'm not going to spend too long. It's all new water to me. We'll get another couple of casts at it though. You can see the grass is still, still freshly trodden down. This guy came this morning. I'm no uh, I'm Indian tracker but Fresh grass has been trodden down, it's still down, so I'll be able to get a couple of fish out of these gang spots. Got two fish, can't grumble. Oh, I've not got my glasses on, but it doesn't look a massively deep pool, we've seen that. Any fish have seen that, that lure. And if they don't want it, I can see me, they're going to tuck under them roots there. This looks nice. There's got to be a fish or two in here. Lots of insect activity here, I've got one stuck in the back of my throat. Slightly warmed up. Still a little nippy on the morning. Just maybe just try and fish this back end. And then we just skirt round and fish a little weir. Here, don't know. Cast too far up, I'm gonna try and capture any fish that's in here. I wouldn't imagine they pushed up to that fast water, but I'll fish it all in there. Yep. Oh, that's not what we're fishing for. An out of season perch. <laughs> Sorry, kid, I'm not fishing for you, mate. I didn't know you were in here. I didn't know you were in here, kid. <laughs> Bonny fish. What else done in this water?
There you go, kid. Little fatty, ready for spawn. Cheers, kid. Sorry, mate. Not trying to catch you. That root, root system looks tempting, but also could be snaggy as hell. That's a fish. What's this? Oh, another fish. Kidding me. Oh, kid. Sorry, kid. So as you know, I'm genuinely trout fishing, I'm not after perch, I didn't even know perch were here. But um, the rules are, if you catch, I think the rules are, if you catch three, you should move swim. So, if this pool turns out to be full of perch, then I'll just move. Try and put one in there, hopefully it's not full of snags. Oh, he's there. Now I'm going to walk up this edge, so I'm, I don't want to spook any fish, so I'll fish it first. See a little cast up, you never know. Undercut margin. Too far with some sticks and stuff in the way. That really looks awesome. One of those fish at the back of this root system. And then we'll keep we'll going in front of it. Try not to cast onto the far bank into that mesh, or that's going to really screw my chances of get caught in that mesh. Trout, 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 trout. Yeah, nice fish. Didn't want to get it caught in that tree root to just kind of bully it a little bit. Nice, nice, nice. Don't get under your roots. Oh, <laughs> the worst thing ever. Nice, nice, mate. And that's a fish worth coming for. Nice fish. Nice fish. Happy with that. Well, I think, I think these uh, iPhone 8s, no iPhone 11, sorry, are um, waterproof because it's just been in the bottom of there. Oh my God, it slipped out of my hand. Pretty sure the waterproof. <laughs> I'm getting updates anyway from rugby and stuff. Right, so that's it. Decided to call it a day. Um, I got to a really nice, juicy swim, got a good fish out of it. Uh, dropped my phone in water. Uh, luckily, it's okay apart from the speaker, it's a bit crackly at the moment, so hopefully that dries out. Um, and then cast into a tree like a plonker. So underhanging branches and that you know that ruined me swim I had to go wading or upset here in the water I had to go wading right where I want to fish yeah, and, yeah I could have gone upstream but I decided uh, that'll do this is a, it's a little video a nice little video caught a couple of fish uh, went fishing um, fish with a little little jerk bait file the shadow wrap one cast version so really good for accuracy and that you know you have to check it into casting really good um, really great little though um, little twitches back, little pauses, you can just straight retrieve if you want, but little twitches, little pauses, simple. Um, the good thing about that with this is, um, these Rapala lures come with the, the VMC hooks, and the VMC hooks are really, really sharp, well designed, uh, and they seem to hook up really, really, um, really easy. I'm sure I'll miss fish in time, but you know, every, every fish I had today hooked up, so yeah, if you're, if you're struggling with fish, give it a, give it a go, Rapala shadow wrap. Um, 
and I'm sure you'll catch fish. Go explore and enjoy it. Yeah, that's what fishing's about. Don't worry about too much about. Um, there's a lot of lads out there catching some good fish. Don't compare yourself to that. You'll catch a big fish at some point. Um, I know where I can go catch some big fish. Um, I just go fishing. Try a new spot, enjoy it, catch a few fish. And that's me, I'm home now. Feet up, watch, watch a bit of football or something this afternoon. Uh, that's about it, Charlie. So enjoy these kind of videos. Uh, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Uh, I ain't always got time to answer your comments. I'm sorry for that. Just because I'm busy, nappy changing, all that kind of stuff. So when I'm at home, I do, you know, I spend time with my, with my lad and that. And, you know, this is my little break. I get out. Uh, when he's asleep, I make a video. Try and do editing as quick as I can. Yeah, but you know, Charlie comes first. And family comes first sometimes. So, but yeah, cheers for watching. Cheers for sticking with me, all that guy. All that kind of stuff. So yeah, and uh, tight lines. And catch you later.